Hello dear friends, in this video we are going to learn about the pharyngeal apparatus. As you know, this pharyngeal apparatus topic is very important for the NEET, AIMS, PGI Chandigarh, NIMHANS. Even it was also important in our first year MBBS. Why? Because it is having too much clinical correlation like the Dijorge syndrome. Yes, like the Treacher Colling syndrome, First Touch syndrome, Pierre Robin syndrome, this all. That's why definitely it is also going to be very important for the next exam. So here we are going to talk about the pharyngeal apparatus. What is the pharyngeal apparatus? The spatial structure which is developing near the pharynx. Because it is getting developed near the pharynx, that's why pharyngeal. And because it is made up of more than one thing, more than one component, that's why apparatus. Yes, this pharyngeal apparatus is made up of three main component. One is the ectoderm, another is the endoderm and another one is the mesoderm. So, this ectoderm is known as the pharyngeal cleft, that endoderm is known as the pharyngeal pouch, while the mesoderm is known as the pharyngeal arch. But we will study one more component where there all this ectoderm, endoderm and the mesoderm meets together, that is the pharyngeal membrane. So, because it is made up of the four structure, four component, yes, pharyngeal arch, pharyngeal cleft, pharyngeal pouch and the pharyngeal membrane, that's why this is known as the apparatus because it develops near the pharynx, that's why it is known as the pharyngeal apparatus. So, as you can see in this image, in our body, compare this embryology with our own body. Yes, in our body, the upper bulge is the head bulge. So, here in the baby, the upper bulge is the head bulge. Yes, the lower elevation is the thoracic bulge. Yes, that is the cardiac bulge. So, you can see the cardiac bulge. What are the MCQ? Within the head bulge, yes, there is the development of the brain. And within the cardiac bulge, there is the development of the heart. So, two MCQs are here. In one of the recent AIMS exam, there was one image of the embryo and they have indicated with the A, B, C, D and ask that at which area there is the development of the heart. So definitely in the cardiac bulge area, second bulge area. Yes, again compare with our own body between the head bulge and the cardiac bulge, there is the gap. So this gap is known as the mouth or stoma. You can compare here. This stoma is also as the pharynx. As you know, the pharynx is the upper part of the esophagus or the GIT. So, the cavity inside this pharynx is known as the pharyngeal cavity. So, what is happening? In this embryo, near the pharyngeal cavity, there are very special kind of the structures are getting developed. These structures are running horizontally in the neck. Yes, can you see in the image? Horizontally in the neck. Because these are running horizontally, that's why these are known as the arch running as an arch like fashion and near the pharynx part that's why pharyngeal arch yes this is the topic but actually this pharyngeal arch is not made up of one thing again i am repeating it is made up of the pharyngeal cleft pharyngeal arch pharyngeal pouch along with the pharyngeal membrane which is known as the pharyngeal apparatus so we are going to learn this topic with the correlation of the linear diagrammatic presentation so prepare your notes with the video by making the pause the video so let's start suppose this is the upper bulge that is the head bulge suppose this is the lower bulge cardiac bulge and this rudimentary structure is indicating the tail part and yes this is the back part of the baby okay so this gap in between the head bulge and the cardiac bulge is known as the stoma. So, just make labeling. This is the head bulge. Here is the cardiac bulge. MCQ that head bulge here is the development of the brain while within the cardiac bulge there is the development of the heart. One of the recent MCQ pattern image based question and as I told you the gap in between these two that is known as the stoma also known as the mouth or you can say pharynx okay yes at the time of the fourth week of the intrauterine life I am giving here giving you trick yes f a c e face is having the one two three four four letters and yes limb bud all l i m b one two three four four letters so this development of the face along with the pharyngeal apparatus and the limb buds they occurs at fourth week of intrauterine life so it is one of the mcq 
few books also mentions at the time of the fifth week but better to go according to the standard books you have to go with the fourth week of entire your trying life okay so now what is happening prepare the notes in the next step of the development yes this is the head bulge here is the cardiac bulge and this lower projection is indicating the tail and this is the back portion so here near the pharynx there is a development of the 1 2 3 4 5 in the six elevations near the pharynx which are running horizontally in the neck when you will look from the front these are running horizontally arch like in fashion but when you will see from the side by the side vision only you will see elevation depression elevation depression so in this way you can draw the diagram okay so this special developing structure is known as pharyngeal apparatus and along with this there is a development of the upper limb bud just on each side of the cardiac bulge thoracic bulge and near the tail part there is the development of the lower limb bud so this is the upper limb bud while here is the lower limb bud also there is the appearance of the segmented structure just diagrammatic presentation is here i am using black color the segmented structure on the back of the baby which are known as the somites whatever the segmented structure from the occipital region up to the cervical or coccyx uh, up to the coccygeal region up to the sacral region this that segmented structures are known as the somites which we will study in our general embryology part which divides to form the yes sclerotome myotom and the dermatom we will see later in general embryology part yes but this special structure which is developing near the pharynx is known as the pharyngeal apparatus now we are going to cut this pharyngeal apparatus part from the pharyngeal cavity part and we are going to look the baby from the posterior side yes posterior side from the inside yes we are going to look yes suppose this is the pharyngeal arch these pharyngeal arches pharyngeal apparatus they are growing from the each side of the neck region and meeting at the midline and then we are cutting the section from here and we are looking from the back side so how it will appear again can you compare with this animated diagram but before that i am going to tell you one very interesting fact yes can you see the few lines from the gray's anatomy we are knowing since our school time hackel rule who followed the darwin's law that in every embryo we can see that ontogeny repeats phylogeny and also phylogeny repeats ontogeny these all are the theories given by the darwin hackel this all so can you see this is the upper bulge head bulge this is the lower bulge cardiac bulge so this special elevation is the pharyngeal apparatus why it is known as the pharyngeal apparatus because finally it is giving rise to the pharynx structure in human so in human this is known as the pharyngeal apparatus while yes ontogeny repeats phylogeny in the fishes this is the head bulge and this is small elevation is the cardiac bulge and after the development can you see here there is the pharyngeal apparatus in between that two bulge so this pharyngeal apparatus is giving rise to the gills which help in the respiration to the fishes this gills are also known as branchial system in the fishes so this pharyngeal apparatus is known as the branchial apparatus in fishes while in the human the same pharyngeal apparatus is only known as the pharyngeal apparatus not the branchial apparatus yes the branchial apparatus is the misnomer for the human the branchial apparatus is correct term for the fishes so these are the lines from the gray's anatomy for our concept with the correlation to the our school knowledge darwin's law Heckel's rule, this all. Ontogeny repeats phylogeny.